Hello everyone, let's work on this beautiful terracotta set that I have named Rangili. The uh, pendant as well as the earrings have been beautifully bisque fired. Please find the link in the description box below on how I made them. Uh, the colors that I'm going to be using are acrylic black, red, green. I'm, sh I'm using two shades of green over here, light olive green. I'm going to be mixing that hunter green and uh, or yellow ochre. The paint brushes that I'm going to be using are 6 and 1. Uh, 1 is the liner brush and 6 is just a broad bristle soft brush uh, that I'll be using for the base coat. So if you see I've laid out everything in the palette. I'll be mixing this, diluting this with a little bit of water. And to start off with, I apply a uh, base coat of black on the pendant and the earring. This includes the gungru beads as well. Now I think um, a few of you have asked me in the past if uh, black is necessary uh, as a base coat before applying um, you know, any other color. My answer is no, it's, it's, not, uh, it's definitely not necessary. It's completely dependent on you as to how you want the end product to look. Uh, now the reason why I am applying black for this particular pendant is only so that um, the lines, uh, you know, I, I just want the lines to uh, remain black. So if you see everything else is going to get colored in this pendant and all of those carvings um, are still going to be black. I'm not going to do anything to those. When I say carvings, I, I mean where the impression has been made. So, uh, for example, for that particular leaf, um, there's a line that goes right in the center. So that I want that to remain black. The gungru, the gungru bead remains black. So you, know, you can always alter the pendant uh, in terms of how you want it to look. And uh, going back to uh, what the question was, is it necessary? Uh, definitely not necessary. It's, it's certainly not necessary to apply a black uh, base coat um, on terracotta jewelry before painting. Hello everyone, hope you all are enjoying the video so far. Uh, so this is uh, just to inform you about the members videos. Now our membership videos are back. I will be uploading one video on the 15th of every month. Um, which will be exclusive to members only. So there is a join button and uh, if you click on that, you'll get to see the perks. So obviously what I'm, uh, what my channel is basically offering is one video on the 15th of every month. So you can see the details and if interested, please do join. Uh, we have some great content coming up. Uh, so let me know if you have any uh, questions and uh, thank you so much. Let's continue with the video. So this is a matte uh, finish paint, the, the shade of red basically, that's why it's looking um, like that. My first coat was a bit light and that's why I went on to do a second coat and I think this makes a lot of difference to that particular uh, design. Just an additional thing that I, you know, added last minute. This was not planned actually. I just thought the shape uh, of that looked appropriate for a design like that, so which is why I decided to do it. Uh, so for the uh, for the conical shaped jhumka as well, this is what I'm going to be just repeating the same thing.
a liner brush is um, is definitely very very handy uh, you know when it comes to work like this it's really useful uh, so the painting is done time for varnish you see everything is dried looks beautiful um, <laughs> I know it's my work but <laughs> So I, it's just that th these are uh, this is a color combination which I personally like. Uh, so yeah, so that was the varnish. Uh, like I, I think in my previous video as well, I have uh, I shared that you know I've, I've actually switched my varnish to an ultra matte uh, from a satin. Uh, so this is something that I prefer, and uh, I do apply a nice even coat. I'll remove all those bubbles. So this this was the time when I was actually shooting this particular video, and if you see, it's a beautiful sunset and uh, you know the clouds were looking lovely and uh, believe me this was around uh, 8 45 8 30 8 45 pm so um, i just put my table out and i started working because you know the light was a bit of an issue so i've laid out everything that is needed pair of scissors um, this is for the tassels the wooden beads the black cord pliers earring hooks everything Thread beads is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using green, maroon and the, that shade of uh, yellow. So I begin by assembling the earrings. Cone jumkas, easy. Just using these, these thread beads. It's a super light set. Um, you know, these and these three colors just made it look uh, even more appropriate for uh, you know, just a beautiful, simple, um, maybe like a cotton sari uh, in these three colors, you know. And there you go. I'll add a double knot um, on both the ends. I've actually come back inside <laughs> because the light was again starting to become a bit of an issue outside. is the wooden bead the wooden bead uh, basically helps adjust the length of the chain time for the tassel uh, I have a detailed video on how I make tassels uh, linked in the description box please do uh, check it out so um, once again just a reminder uh, please don't forget to check out the pendant as well as the earring making videos those are also linked in the description box below There you go, this beautiful set is ready. I really like the way this has turned out, especially that um, that leaf part uh, looks really nice. Please do let me know what you think of the video. Um, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel if you already haven't. Uh, thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for watching.